Hey, I'd just like to make a quick video of how to add a prop to your character. In this case, I'm going to use a sword uh, using Cascadeur. So let's get started. So I'm just going to load my U5 character, any character there. And there's my character. So the key is, is to add the sword to the scene, putting it on a different track. So you select a button here, add track. I'm going to say sword. Okay. So I'm on my first keyframe here, um, which is the sword and then my character. So yeah, so that's the most important part. So what you do now is you go uh, file, import, FBX, and I want to import a mesh. Um, but I'm just going to leave that as is. So I say import, and I save this under uh, Unreal here. And now you're going to use this cast iron sword FBX. So it's also important that you use the FBX file. Open. And now you'll see this monstrosity here on the scene. So we're just going to make that to suit our needs or scale it down to suit our needs. Um, you go then by mesh selection, select a mesh over there. And I transform this sword to be a little bit uh, smaller. So instead of a, a scale of 100, I'm going to try 10. That already looks better. 10 and 10. And that already looks much better. So let's just see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Scale 15. And then that looks good. So what I then like to do is um, I like to just position it into place on my character. So I'm not going to make it perfect, so just so you can get the general idea. And there you go. So now we need to link this sword to this character. So you select, you select your sword, and I go on to Manny's um, skeleton, and I look for his right hand. So usually that is under Palace, spine, 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 spine. Then clavicle right, upper arm, so I'm looking for lower arm, and there's the hand. So I like to place it there in the hand itself. So what you do then is you select your cross iron sword and you just drag and scroll down and place it in the hand over there. So now let's see if this worked. So I'm just going to go to auto posing, going to select, uh, let's say, frame 25 here, and I'm just going to move the hand, and there we go. It's connected. So what I like to do, do is, is just to make my adjustments um, we need it. So I'm just going to make a simple animation like this. Um, so this first frame is this in the sword's first position. So just to fix this, uh, so I can grip it a little bit better, I'm just going to rotate it. Um, but I'll just do a time lapse of that. So that looks good. And then I'm also actually going to let the character grip it. Um, so the nice thing with Cascadeur is, it's also got um, uh, auto posing for fingers. So I select that, and then I just close my fist here. Like this. Let's see what it looks like. It needs a little bit more work. So again, I just go to mesh, select a sword, and then just place it exactly where you need it. Um, like I said, that's good for now. There we go. And then we'll just put on say, AI in between. See if this animation works. And there you go. Sword in hand. And now you can continue animating your scene um, with the sword as a reference.